Now that's for the census. If I go back to the home page, I mentioned the census and CANSIM. CANSIM is everything else that Statistics Canada has that's not the census. That's kind of a restrained definition, but if you click on the census, on CANSIM, I'm sorry, you have a lot of things that you can get information from, including retail and wholesale, including uh, travel and tourism, information and communication technology. I mean, this is all these and a uh, business consumer and, and uh, business performance and ownership. These are all the other topics that Statistics Canada keeps tabs on. Okay, this is by subject. You can also click on the surveys and look at all of the different surveys that it keeps tabs on, like consumer goods rental, periodicals publisher. Some of these surveys have are stopped. They're terminated, like they've stopped publishing data about them, but they're still included in the CanSim search interface, okay? So again, I would go back to the CanSim, and here are some of the, uh, of the reports that I think you would like. For example, here is retail sales. That's a pretty good one to look at, right? If you're doing a business plan, for example, retail sales. And I could see here that I, ha I have the retail trade sales by North American industry classification system in dollars monthly, right? Now, I know, especially if you have to write a business plan, you have to provide projections on the monthly basis. And this is how you calculate how much you can expect to make in each month by using this specific data series from StatsCan because it'll tell you how much money stores have actually made in which month. That's really cool. So let me go in and I want to, so if you want to report on that, click here on the table number. Okay, so that's how you get into the reporting tool. The default you get is always the highest level of detail, which is the total Canadian spending and then each of the provinces, okay? And these little letters here just tell you how good the data is. If you go to the bottom here, it tells you that A is excellent data because they have, it's very representative of what's happening. So you could be confident that in April 2012, Canadians have spent $38 billion in retail stores because we're in thousands of dollars here, right? So 38 billions of dollars. So their StatsCan is very confident to say that it's this is a this is a, a solid figure. Now, what you want to do for your business plan is use this add and remove data feature here, this tab. Click on that because you don't want to know about all of Canada. So you you want to remove that. What you want is Quebec, right? So you want Quebec and maybe even Montreal if you can. So you put those two here. And by the way, this number represents the code for which Montreal they're referring to. Is it the CMA? Is it the city? Is it the uh, subdivision? If you click on that, it's gonna show you what which Montreal, because there are different Montreals. I, I talked about that in the census part, right? So Quebec and Montreal, and I can browse down here and get specific industries. And look at that, here we have the North American Industry Classification System codes here. So I could go down and look at pet stores, 4539, oh no! They stop at the three digit code. It doesn't go to 45391. So I'm stuck with all of the other types of stores that are in this category because it doesn't go to that level. That's too bad, but it doesn't mean I don't use it. It just means I use it with a grain of salt, right? It's still useful. I just have to note in my paper that this is for 453, the aggregate category for this industry, not specifically pet stores. And here's a very important part, especially for those of you doing your uh, uh, business plan, use the unadjusted, because you want to see the actual for that month. So you want the unadjusted figure and pull it for, uh, get a couple of years, it doesn't matter, right? Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make time as rows. So I have uh, the rows here and I'm gonna apply that. And here we have for Quebec and for Montreal, the actual amount of money spent in miscellaneous store retailers. And then I compare it to the total retail trade. And I can see here how that progresses over time. So see here how December is higher than February. And that's how you use this data to project your monthly revenues for your business plan. Okay? You can, of course, 
download this information into Excel, build your own graphs, have formulas and all sorts of neat stuff happen if you download this into Excel. And by the way, the library has tons of books on how to use Excel and how to use graphs and how to use all of that. You can also use the help feature, you know, F1 or you know, on the help menu in Excel to learn how to use Excel. We have also tons of books that help you learn about Excel at the library. Just my little pitch here. Um, so you can, uh, so yeah, you could play with the add and remove data. Another thing is related information. Click on that. It's not obvious. Related information. And here it tells you uh, uh, related tables. So sometimes you may find some really interesting stuff under these different links. Uh, here, view latest article from The Daily. That's a great idea. Uh, the Daily is Statistics Canada's uh, daily newsletter. And every time they release a new data series, they talk about it in The Daily. So they provide you a little bit of a, of a heads up of what's going on. So you click on here and it's going to tell you which issues of The Daily. In this case, this was from April 2012. And it gives you a little bit of, of additional information and links to all of the other data series that are useful within this context. Okay, so that's a way to discover additional interesting reports. Other related information, you may want to look at the publications that Statistics Canada issues weekly, monthly, quarterly, yearly that feed off this data table. So click on that and it's going to tell you specifically this, this is the retail trade publication and it's free so you can view whenever it comes out. You can look at previous issues of this right so the analysis they have to say about that right different charts so from cansim right and finding a really interesting data series that you can use in your paper you can also find related information okay obviously obviously you could say you could copy the category of information you have go back to the general website of statistics canada and do the search right that's one way of doing it. It's possible to do it that way, but I prefer using the specialized search options, the key resources here, and specifically CANSIM and the census to dig for information that way. You can still find great stuff just by Googling or by using the general search from StatsCan and poking around. Use that. If it's good for your paper, you if you feel that's awesome, do it. Don't, don't take my word for it, but I just like those two tools specifically because they give you straight access to the raw figures and a lot of times you you that's what you want you want the raw figures you want to do the analysis yourself so the text from the analysis that's uh, at, that that work at statscan is, is interesting it's good to note but you want to create your own text so you need access to the raw data that sits behind the text a little deeper down the iceberg and those that's where the, those are the two reporting tools that you can use for that okay so that's a quick take on using the wealth of information from our federal um, statistical agency, Statistics Canada.